Hello, Jess here from All the Sparkle with a video using items from the June 2017 Little Inker Designs release and a sparkly card using colored pencils on dark cardstock. Today I'm featuring the beautiful Blossoms and Banners stamp and die set and the quilted stitch basket weave die. So let's get started. I stamped the floral banner from Blossoms and Banners with soft granite ink onto dark gray cardstock. I used my Misty to stamp the image and I left the stamp on the Misty lid. Then I started coloring the image with my Prismacolor colored pencils. If I wanted a brighter look, I would have lightly colored the image first with a white colored pencil and then gone over it with various colors. But I wanted a softer look so I used the colors directly over the gray cardstock. You can see that even on the gray, the yellow flowers really pop. I wasn't going for a super detailed image, just subtle shading. So I used two colors for each flower and used the darker color in the center of the flowers and the light color around the edges. I've sped up my coloring, but it took about 10 minutes overall. Once I was done coloring, I used a Swiffer cloth to wipe away any excess colored pencil dust. I placed the panel back inside my Misty, prepped it with a powder tool, and stamped the image again, but this time with Versamark. Then I heat embossed it with silver embossing powder. Next, I stamped the sentiment from Blossoms and Banners with Versamark and heat embossed it with the same silver embossing powder. I used the Swiffer cloth to wipe away the powder from my powder tool and then coated the image with a layer of Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle. Once it was dry, I die cut it with a coordinating die. I also die cut a piece of dark gray cardstock with the quilted stitched basket weave cover plate die. At first I was going to just adhere the floral banner to the basket weave die, but then I decided to add a little more interest and die cut the floral banner from silver glitter cardstock and adhered it as a shadow behind my colored pencil image. Then I popped up the image onto my background with foam mounting tape. Finally, I added a sprinkling of sparkling clear sequins to finish the card. And that's it! The June 2017 release from Little Inker Designs is now live and you can find links to my blog and all of the products I used in the YouTube description below. We're celebrating our June release with a huge site-wide sale, a blog hop with the chance to win the entire release, and a special gift with purchase. Head to my blog for all the details and to join the hop. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, have a fabulous day, and happy crafting!